This leopard noticed how a whole clan of cheetahs dined on a freshly caught gazelle on its territory. Usually, a leopard sneaks up on an enemy to strike, but this time it deliberately revealed its presence and went on a frontal attack to scare the young cheetahs. And the plan was successful. Only the most experienced and strongest members of the clan remained to fight back against the leopard. It's funny that the jackals watched the confrontation and even wanted to profit for themselves. But the leopard acted too fast. He ran in a circle towards the prey, dodged the blow of the largest cheetah, and counterattacked it. The cheetah had to run. Although he is taller and has longer limbs, the leopard is much more muscular and strong. So the cunning, dexterous beast got himself someone else's lunch in a minute, without spending much effort on it. And we will show you other cases when the leopards demonstrated their strength. Hyenas usually steal food from other predators, but this time she was the victim. The hyena was walking with a hoofed animal in its mouth when it was spotted by a leopard. A powerful and furious beast pounced on the enemy, struck a series of blows, and forced the prey to be released from its mouth, because it is the jaws that are the main weapon of the hyena. The scavenger is more massive than a young, arrogant cat, but it is an order of magnitude inferior to him in dexterity and fights poorly with its jaws, and the leopard, on the contrary, uses claws as the main offensive weapon. But the panther did not immediately grab the prey. She hit the hyena several more times, threw it away, and only then took the body of the ungulate. The hyena thought that now that the leopard's mouth was occupied, it would be possible to take revenge, as if not so. The leopard understood that it was inconvenient to hold the ungulate and fight, so he immediately ran up the tree and literally flew up its trunk before the hyena managed to grab the enemy with its fangs. The ungulates grazed and at the same time cautiously studied the surroundings. Impalas have excellent reflexes, a wide field of vision, and can warn each other of danger. When one herbivore twitches to the side, the steel ones also run away, even if they do not see the source of the threat. But the ungulates did not know who was out hunting. The leopard managed to get to them completely unnoticed at a jump distance. The sharp noise caused by the predator scared off the herbivores, and one of them ran next to the leopard. In a beautiful and impressive leap, the predator intercepted the victim right on the fly, knocked him to the ground, and immobilized him with powerful paws, and then immediately grabbed him by the throat. The leopard does not bite through blood vessels, but strangles the victim. But the ungulate did not succeed in freeing itself. The leopard almost immediately crushed the impala's trachea, which is the same weight as the predator. This is not the end, but only the beginning. The leopard's body is capable of instantly generating tremendous force for an impressive leap. Lightning strike or dangerous bite, but then there is a price for this. A predator cannot stay at the peak of its efforts for long. Therefore, when a large hyena came to recapture prey from a competitor, the leopard did not rush into battle, but retreated. The hyena thought that she had scared off the enemy with her powerful jaws. Predators are roughly in the same weight category, and an adult hyena one-on-one -on -one can, if not kill, then injure a leopard. For a lone predator who relies on agility, even a temporary loss of a functioning limb is fatal. Therefore, the hyena hoped to intimidate the intelligent leopard. But she underestimated the opponent. The spotted cat moved away, but then hid, returned, and began to attack the hyena from an optimal distance. As a result, he managed to drive her away from his prey and returned the lunch to himself. So the leopard is great at hunting and can protect the food it gets. I would say that the combination of these qualities deserved your like, does it not? The leopard's reaction speed is amazing. These panthers are ready to give battle to the enemy or catch prey, even at those moments when their attention is occupied by something completely different. 
Here, a gazelle was running through the night savanna and did not notice that she practically stepped on a male and female leopard during their, uh, date. Interfering with a romantic meeting of panthers is a big mistake. The male immediately caught the herbivore and grabbed it right on the run. Although the gazelle has a large mass and ran very fast, it failed to demolish and knock down the leopard. Instead, he broke his opponent's neck with a crushing blow. The female helped slow down the victim, but she was thrown away by the impact. But the male will give her a gift. An interesting alternative to a bouquet of flowers, is it not? A large pack of wild dogs caught a hoofed animal and had already started to have lunch when they were noticed by an impudent and brave leopard. Although he is much stronger than every dog, there is only one spotted predator, and there are more than a dozen opponents. Together, they can surround and defeat the panther. To prevent this from happening, the leopard resorts to his favorite tactic, a surprise attack. He swoops down on the dogs from the flank and roars furiously. The dogs were in shock. One moment there was no one around but the prey, and now there was a huge scary beast. Instinctively, the dogs run away in different directions. They don't know who they're dealing with, and that's the only reason the leopard attack succeeds. But the cat doesn't waste a second. She understands that smart dogs will immediately realize that a loner is against them, attack, and tear it apart. Therefore, the leopard immediately grabs the prey, after which it takes it up a tree. The agile and agile animal manages to climb to a height inaccessible to dogs before they catch up with it. The risky and daring plan has completely worked. The leopard is a large and muscular predator with very strong limbs, lightning-fast reactions, and extreme agility. However, he is significantly inferior to lions, tigers, and jaguars, being only the fourth panther in size and sheer physical strength. A male lion, which can reach a mass of just under a quarter of a ton, is about three times larger than a male leopard. However, in what the leopard significantly surpasses its relatives, it is inflexibility and agility of jumping. Where the lion relies on brute force, the leopard will use cunning combined with the lightning speed of a surprise attack. At the same time, the leopard always tries to find the perfect moment to attack. Here he sneaks up on the always wary impala for a long time. The spotted predator uses the grass as a cover. Pay attention that the cat walks on bent paws, hugging the ground as low as possible. It looks pretty elegant, doesn't it? Every movement is smooth but fast. If you don't know exactly where the predator is hiding, it's easy to lose sight of it, even for us. And ungulates distinguish fewer colors, so the yellow skin of a predator on a green background of grass does not really stand out for them at all. The leopard is a ninja from the animal world, and now he is completely invisible to his victims. The cat showed restraint and patience when she waited for the start of the duel between two gazelles right under her nose. Unexpected luck did not make the predator lose its head and immediately rush into battle. The cat waited for the rivals to get carried away with the confrontation, then rushed at one of them. The herbivore scattered, but the leopard grabbed its target and hooked its claws right in the jump. Due to the inertia of the movement, the predator was thrown to the side, but he did not release his grip and used his body weight to instantly unbalance the impala. This adult impala is more massive and large than a leopard, but he threw the victim to the ground with this move as easily as if the ungulate weighed no more than a rabbit. For the impala, this skill was a surprise. She tried to fight back on the ground, but it was too late. Thanks to the jeweler's precision to movements, the leopard grabbed the opponent by the throat and began to strangle. He restrained the resisting opponent and suppressed all attempts to escape, although the impala desperately resisted. With each passing second, the strength left the herbivore, which could not breathe, and soon the predator finished off the victim. In addition to sneaking up, 
the leopard is proficient in another tactic of stealthy hunting. This is an ambush. Moreover, a predator can make a throw from a very unusual place. For example, here, a leopard jumped on prey from a tree down straight vertically from the height of the second floor. Such a stunning attack is effective both due to the effect of surprise and due to the fact that falling increases the force of the blow. However, the leopard has no right to make mistakes, but he rarely misses. Here, too, the poor victim simply did not understand whose territory she had entered until it was too late. Although a leopard usually strangles strong game for several minutes, a blow when falling from a tree can simply break the neck or spine of an opponent. And for the most agile predator, this sight is not dangerous. The jackal was watching the leopard. It's a pretty risky idea, isn't it? But the little predator has a plan. He wants to eat leftovers after hunting a panther, or even steal the prey of a spotted cat if he finds it tired after fighting with some large beast. <laughs> but you should not have underestimated this panther. Nevertheless, it is leopards who enjoy the reputation of real masters of ambushes. Therefore, the cat realized that she was being watched. Predators treat stalkers without unnecessary sentiment and pity. The leopard set up an ambush, then attacked the jackal. The spotted predator grabbed the opponent and punched him hard. The skirmish lasted only a few seconds, and the nimble scavenger escaped from the claws of the leopard. But the leopard managed to punch the jackal in the face several times, knock him off his paws to the ground, and almost broke his neck. This will make the jackal stay away from the panther for sure. When the beaten jackal broke free and ran away from the leopard in a panic, the predatory cat did not chase him. I wonder why she let go of her opponent. Was it out of pity, or was it out of the fact that the leopard just wasn't hungry? So he disdained the jackal, deciding not to waste his energy trying to catch up and finish him off. A mighty lioness caught a leopard on her territory and knocked it to the ground. A larger cat is ready to finish off the opponent at any moment. The leopard can fight back, but it is almost twice as inferior to the enemy. Fortunately, the lioness underestimated the spotted panther. She was distracted, and the leopard darted away like lightning. The lioness tried to intercept him, but could not catch up with the target. The antelope thought that lying in the bushes would be able to hide from any danger. In the thicket, she was invisible to any of the predators, except for the leopard. But it's not enough just to find prey. It must also be caught up and defeated. The leopard slowly and smoothly approaches the gazelle. The back of the ungulate is protected by dense thickets. There's a clear space right in front of her. But the panther's disguise is too good. The leopard is approaching from the side. Theoretically, an antelope could notice a predator, but it does not make a single mistake and even merges with the environment in motion. Finally, the leopard makes a powerful dash. The antelope tries to escape, but the predator hits it on the back with its paw, knocks it to the ground. The hoofed animal loses its balance while the predator finds its throat and finishes it off, the hunt of the master. Of course, when you see a small animal that furiously distributes blows right and left, fights off several lionesses and fights with cobras, ignoring their bites, you get respect for such a fluffy monster. Honey eaters are really admired. The first thing that catches your eye is their incredible bravery. The honey badger goes ahead and attacks any opponent. He almost never goes on the defensive. If there is a lion nearby, then these are the problems of the panther, not the honey badger. Quite powerful punches and tenacious, painful bites turn an active, furious, and strong black and white beast into a real berserker. But in fact, its key feature and main advantage is in defense, not offense. 
The honey badger has a very high pain threshold, a strong, almost impenetrable skin, inside of which the beast can easily move due to the weak connection of skin and muscles. And he also has a tough coat, which gives additional protection and almost complete immunity to the poisons of all snakes that live in the habitat of the honey badger. The vitality of honey eaters is legendary, as is their aggression, but it was a mistake to mess with the leopard. This large predator is one of the few who look at the honey badger, not as a terrible scumbag, from which it is worth staying away, but as food. The cunning spotted predator was able to resist the furious beast and found a way to deal with it. The panther moved the fight to a tree. There, the honey badger did not have a foothold in order to get out of the grip of the enemy. And if he had succeeded, he would have collapsed to the ground. The leopard finished off the opponent and broke his neck. And we will show you now other epic cases when this spotted cat dealt with its enemies. But if you think that a leopard can cope with a honey badger only thanks to such tricks, then this is not the case. On flat ground, the spotted panther can also defeat a tenacious opponent whose wrath even young lions fear. The ability of the honey badger, despite its modest size, to go ahead and attack more massive enemies head on stuns many. An experienced lioness or a young lion may simply get confused and let the enemy get too close, miss a painful bite right in the muzzle. A large animal may begin to retreat, perhaps fearing that the animal is simply sick with rabies. But these techniques do not confuse the leopard. He figured out the main trick of the honey badger, and instead of twitching convulsive attempts to protect the baby from aggressive pressure, he uses his dexterity in combination with weight superiority. Thanks to the excellent control over his movements, fast reflexes, and precision of every muscle, the leopard catches the honey badger in such a way that even his resourcefulness does not help. At first, the leopard uses powerful blows with its paws. In addition, the cat also uses its limbs to hook the opponent, grab him, and hold him. Depriving the honey badger of mobility is the key to defeating such a formidable enemy. And when the panther imprints the enemy to the ground, the outcome of the battle can be considered decided. It is not easy to pierce the skin of a honey badger, but a leopard does not need to do this. He strangles the enemy the same way he would strangle a gazelle. Unless you need to be more careful to avoid a retaliatory bite. But as a result, the leopard deals with the enemy and eats the honey badger. In general, the leopard is famous for successfully hunting animals that are often too tough for larger predators. Here, he catches a baboon. These primates usually manage to hide in a tree from large predators. But the leopard managed to disguise itself from the watchers of the pack and attacked the enemy when he was dozing, quickly twisted its neck and carried off the prey before the other primates realized what had happened. Agility and excellent reflexes are complemented by intelligence and cunning in this spotted panther. Thanks to the combination of such useful qualities, the leopard can break through the protection of animals that are invulnerable even to lions and hyenas. For example, a leopard can defeat a porcupine. This is a very dangerous and difficult opponent. Porcupines do not go in the defensive, but attack the enemy when they see a predator. But at the same time, the porcupine acts in an original way. He walks with his back, makes sudden movements to the sides, maneuvers, and confuses the enemy. Thanks to such tactics, few people avoid getting hit by his sharp needles. This weapon is much more insidious than it seems. The needles leave its own body easily and painlessly for the porcupine, but get stuck in the flesh of the predator. The wound is broadening, and the hunter cannot get the needle. It prevents him from hunting, causes pain, and causes blood poisoning. So a porcupine can give battle to a whole group of lionesses. But the leopard has learned to resist to this tactic. An experienced predator is observant and understands that the porcupine's weapon is not directed in all directions, namely backwards. Therefore, the leopard attacks the enemy from the side of his muscle, 
stuns him with a swift attack, and grabs the porcupine by the throat before he has time to use the weapons. The leopard gets a couple of needle wounds, but successfully gets them out and starts the second round. A clever cat knows how to act carefully. She owns her body at some amazing level, so every movement is honed to an inch. Gradually, she suppresses the opponent's resistance and finishes him off. This is a risky gamble, because in case of a mistake, the leopard can get fatal damage. Needle thrusts can pierce the skin on the muzzle, damage the eyes, and the needles themselves can get stuck where the leopard can no longer reach them. But as a reward for the victory, the predator gets lunch. The armor doesn't help either. This leopard spotted the pangolin. The durable scales on the body of this strange and amazing beast allows it to withstand the blows of lions. As soon as the pangolin sees a threat, it curls up into a ball and turns into a small armored ball. But the cunning leopard threw this ball into the water and the pangolin had to open up in order not to drown. Then the predator caught the prey, grabbed it by the throat and quickly strangled it. And here the leopard noticed a hole in which a warthog was hiding. These ungulates are able to dig deep tunnels using both their limbs and their snout. The narrow entrance provides protection from large predators, and the cleaver's fangs are able to repel the attack of not very large hunters. But the leopard uses unexpected tactics. Instead of trying to dig the warthog out of its hole, the panther digs out of the entrance. Of course, the leopard is not like messing around in the dust, but for the sake of an appetizing piglet, it can be patient. As a result, the prey is trapped in its own lair. The warthog is trying to get out, but a fast predator catches and finishes it off. Two very young leopards manage to catch the prey. The predators are no longer teenagers, and soon they will have to be separated to live alone. But for now, they're still covering for each other. A huge adult hyena, which is more than one and a half times larger than young leopards, did not know about this. She decided to rob the cats, relying on the terrible strength of her jaws. But the leopard noticed her approach to the prey and boldly rushed into battle. He punched her in the face several times, rammed her, and started biting her. The hyena tried to respond with a dangerous bite into the opponent's paw. She could literally break the forearm of the leopard's foreleg, rendering it helpless and unable to hunt in the future. But the cat snatched the limb from the enemy's mouth, struck a few more blows, and pushed the enemy away. The hyena did not let up. He and the leopard fought fiercely, and the smaller cat struck terrible blows, but was forced to gradually retreat. The hyena thought that she would suffer a beating, but she would be able to scare off the leopard and return to the meal. However, the scavenger was wrong. While the hyena was fighting with one leopard, the second one sneaked up and stole the meat that the hyena claimed without any problems. She noticed the approach of the enemy and fled. She couldn't defeat the spotted panther, so there was no point in continuing the risky duel and getting painful blows with sharp claws on the muscle. Due to the large difference in size, the leopard has to run away from both tigers in Asia and lions in Africa. The spotted predator has little chance to resist in battle with these mighty beasts. But there is a rare and very old video where a leopard was attacked by an even larger enemy. The bear noticed the spotted cat and pounced on it, trying to tear apart the enemy with powerful blows of its clawed paws. The leopard tried to retreat, but the bear moved unexpectedly fast and managed to grab the opponent, cover him with his body, and use his claws. The bear here is about five times bigger than its opponent. But if the club-footed predator expected an easy victory, then only disappointment awaited him. This leopard turned out to be an incredible fighter and managed to compensate for the lack of brute force with a fierce rebuff. The leopard skillfully repelled attacks, 
does not allow itself to be grabbed by the throat, avoided critical damage even at super close range. And at the same time, the cat herself struck back at the bear's muzzle with frenzied aggression. The leopard used all four paws, grabbed with claws, hit in the eyes, bit into the sensitive nose of the enemy, and managed to force the bear to retreat. Moreover, the enraged leopard, on a wave of adrenaline-fueled courage, began to chase the enemy himself. There were people nearby who were clearly shocked by this situation. Which case from today, when a leopard showed its skills, impressed you more than the others? Reply in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see the best and most amazing episodes from the natural world.